stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. This is James. I'm Yubseya. And I'm Esmeralda with GNN, your Grizzly News Network. Today is Monday, October 11th, 2021. It was a great homecoming weekend here at Spring Valley as the varsity football took, team took the, took the win. The defense was dominating throughout the game, keeping Bonanza out of our end zone. It appeared as if we might have a shutout game, but they, they were able to score with seconds left in the game. The final score was 16-6 to six with our Grizzlies taking the win. We want to thank everyone who came out to help our, make our homecoming dance a success. More than 900 attended and danced in Light Away. Unlike years prior, the dance moved out into the quad this year, allowing students to take over the space and show off their best moves. The DJ kept them dancing and Stuco kept them sugared up with never-ending snacks. The event was the first real school-wide dance since the pandemic and students were ready to show off the party and show off their best dresses and clothes. It was a great night for all those who were there, and we want to thank all the students and staff who made it all happen. As students to continue the school in mass during the pandemic, the issue of mandating vaccines for students and staff created a controversy in the districts or across the country. Roxy and Sandy talked to some people around campus. Hi Grizzlies, recent talk of the vaccine mandate for all CCSD employees has caused some chaos. Many did not attend work on Tuesday, September 7th to protest. They claimed to not be against wearing masks and getting the vaccine, but believe people should have the choice to do so. It all started when the school board allowed CCSD Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara to create a vaccine mandate for all employees. This led families to be concerned that there was going to be more mandates in the future. Now let's hear what our Grizzlies community has to say. What are your thoughts on having a vaccine mandate? Well, as I'm sure you know, it's a controversial topic. Scientists, the work of scientists, science can and should inform decision makers. But those people have many things to consider. For example, can we keep our schools open in the district if too many teachers either quit or take a leave of absence extended? So I really believe we have to do uh, everything we can do um, to try and reach what's called herd immunity. I do support a vaccine mandate for employees um, with exceptions for allergies and possibly some other uh, exceptions. What are your thoughts on having a COVID vaccine mandate for CCSD? I think a vaccine mandate would disproportionately affect the student body and shouldn't be implemented, at least not yet. So far, the vaccine only approved for adolescents is Pfizer and soon Moderna. and some factors would inhibit students from getting a vaccine, such as allergies. What are your thoughts on having a COVID vaccine mandate and the protests that happened around it? As a person who has a lot of uh, problems, like with asthma, and who has a mother who works in the school system with uh, different lung conditions as well, I am 100% okay with the vaccine mandate. I definitely think it will help protect me, my mom, and everyone we work with and go to school with. I don't exactly agree with the protests. I'm glad the people felt confident enough that they could express their opinion. Within the last week, higher education in Nevada has decided to make a vaccine mandate. At this point in time, the school board has not voted to determine whether there should be a vaccine mandate in CCSD. Stay safe and have a great day, Grizzlies. Now here's James with some more news around campus. Thank you. Just in time for Hispanic Heritage Month, Selena takes us inside Seoul, the student organization of Latinos to help us learn more about it. Hola a todos. I am Juan, the president here at Seoul. I am Mandela, the Vice President of Seoul. And I am Kevin, I am the Treasurer of Seoul. So for those who don't know, Seoul is the student organization of Latinos here at Spring Valley. We are here to represent the Hispanic and Latino culture here at Spring Valley High School. 
Hi, I'm Valeria, and I'm a first-generation Mexican-American. So being able to pass on my culture and traditions that I've inherited from my family, and it's also about celebrating the people we share a legacy with. Hi, my name is Alana, and I'm from the Dominican Republic. If you guys didn't know, my country is located in the Caribbean. For the fans of baseball, um, there are over 100 players of Dominican origin in the American pro professional leagues, um, including David Ortiz and Fernando Tatis Jr. And also it is important to me because I as Hispanic want you guys to know all the different cultures and all, and not only mine, but all the Latin American cultures. Yeah, everybody's welcome. We celebrate diversity and have fun learning about our culture. So don't forget to meet us Friday in Ms. Hardy's room, 311. All this month, we will continue bringing you information on the Hispanic culture as part of Hispanic Heritage Month. Hispanic people were among the earliest European settlers in the New World. These conquistadors included Ponce de Leon, Hernan Cortez, and Francis Pizarro. There are currently strong efforts and movements to decolonize monuments and traditions in Hispanic America. If you would like to learn more about our learn about the culture and join our school in celebrating Hispanic heritage, Soul meets the first and third Friday of every month. Fall into some campus cleaning with Environmental and Key Club. They will be they will be cleaning up the campus on Wednesday, October thirteenth. Come get an hour of community service and help beautify our school. They will meet in room nine twenty three at one thirty. Hope to see you see you there. Everyone is welcome. There's a new club on campus, hoping to create new friendship. Grizzly Pals will take place of best buddies this year. The group hopes to foster friendship between students with disabilities and their non-disabled peers. The club will help build confidence in community. Grizzly Pals will meet every other Wednesday starting this week on October 13th. Grizzly Pals will meet at 1.30 p.m. in room 210. Now here's Jib Sarah with our sports news. Thank you. The fall season has just a couple weeks left, so it is time to get out and support our athletes. Men's soccer will play three games this week. Today they will play at home against Palo Verde, with varsity team playing at 4.30 and JV at 6. Then on Wednesday they will play over at Rancho. And finally on Friday they will play, against, play away against Durango at the same times. Then women's volleyball team will also play three games this week. Today they will play here at home against Cheyenne. B team at 5, JV plays at 6, and varsity at 7. Then on Wednesday they will head over to Legacy. And lastly on Friday they will go against Liberty at the same times. Women's soccer will play against Clark this Thursday here at home with varsity playing at 4.30 and JV at 6. Our football team will play on Friday here at home with varsity playing at 6. Our women's B team has games Saturday at 8 and 9 at Coronado. Finally, our JV football team is play taking the field at 9 a.m. against Coronado. And just as a, remi a reminder, a school ID is required to enter all school paid events, like our football games. Without an ID, you will not be allowed to enter. Bookbacks are not allowed at any paid athletic events. And one final reminder, you must buy tickets to all football games at ticketspicket.com. If you want to strike it rich, join bowling team. If you have some spare time during the winter season, then bowling might be for you. We will have an interest meeting on Thursday, October 14th at 1.20 in room 917. All RMAs are due by October 28th. See Mr. Keys for more details about upcoming bowling season. Fall season may not be over yet, but coaches are already looking ahead to winter. Any ladies looking to participate in flag football, there is an interest meeting coming up this month. Put it on your calendar. Thursday, October 14th in room 808 at 116. Everyone is welcome to join. You don't need experience to play. Now here's Esmeralda with today's weather. Thank you. We are expecting some da damaging winds today. We will start picking up around 11 this morning and will continue for the rest of the day. They could bring in some rain clouds with a possibility of sprinkles for the next few days. Bundle up, Grizzly. Fall is here. You can come get your fix of delicious foods and help our school this weekend. Spring Valley Robotics team is counting on you. Cashing in in the bowl of quesadilla this Saturday, October 16 at Chipotle at 7.340. Aurora Crossing Parkway from 5 to 9 p.m. Show them this flyer and help support SBHS robotics team. You can pick up this flyer from Miss Laura or snappy pick of one around campus. Congrats to all those winners. This was James, Esmeralda, and Yipsera of the, of the Grizzlies, Grizzlies News Network. Network. Have, Have a marvelous, marvelous Monday, Monday Grizzlies. Grizzlies.